I want to see the real Zeos. I said the real Zeos. Perfection. All right. Welcome to um, what could only be described as three and a half hours of my life last night. Just like she's embarrassed and covering up, I'm embarrassed and covering up. This is the headphone roundup of 20, well, 18. You're probably watching this in 2019 because I filmed it in 2018. What you're looking at here is a fucking amazing accomplishment. And even though it's an embarrassment and everyone's going to be like, vomit at this many seconds in the comments. Um... I am running six headphone amplifiers off of one single DAC. Golf claps. So, Kishali Labs Enoch Pro is running balanced out into the THX AAA789, and that's it. That's its only, that's its purpose. And this amplifier is here to act as the benchmark for the rest. And the rest are around $100 or, or less. Around $100, a little more. Uh, this is a hundred, this is a hundred, this is a hundred, this is a hundred and some, I don't know. Let me, I'll really quickly run you through this mess before you ask in the comments. So the Shy Labs is outputting balance there, that's fine. The single-ended output is being looped around into the topping A30 because it has a line output pass-through. So it's just, it just happens to be going through this like there's nothing, so that power is a one amp. Then these cables run here into these monoprice uh, RGB splitters that split your normal RGB signal into two each, which I've figured this wonderful little secret out. If you run the signal into it, and then you run that into something, and then you run the X other split out, and then loop it back in to the next set, you could loop it back into the next set. And I did that twice. And therefore I have left and right shared for the rest of these headphone amplifiers. And here's the thing, I know what you're saying, but Zeo is the signal degradation, the signal degradation. Well, as a test yesterday, I had both of these hooked up all together and hooked up two different amps with just one channel. So I took the left channel out of my OL EL DAC put it into this, then I took the right channel and fucked it, and then put it into this, so that I was getting one straight and one not straight. And I plugged in and I set my FUBAR to mono, and there was not a single track or headphone that I could plug into the Magni that I could tell a vo voltage drop on one side. Nor did I lose any resolution as far as I could tell. Now that's not the perfect way to go about it, but at least everything's equal now. This is the right channel, it's the left channel, I think. Yes, red, black. So everything is now hooked up at the exact same time from the exact same source. So when I pull out this plug and plug it into something else, there's no different DAX, there's no, nothing's getting more or less splitters except for this one, and this is my least favorite of the group, spoiler alert, even though this is a video where I say that. So this one actually would have the advantage because it's coming directly, and then it's leaving, and then this happens. Should I cover that again? I'm kind of feeling queasy just looking at it. But um, yeah, welcome to the headphone uh, wrap up 2018. Like I said, I'm gonna be using the 789 as my judge, as the Judge Judy and Executioner. Uh, as you saw me put on at the beginning of the video, Aeolus, because if you're gonna judge headphone amps, you're gonna judge an Aeolus. And I did have my 2000Xs out and the T20 RPs out. And the uh, Brainwaves Alaras were out because they all have different ways of handling different power levels. And you get more difference in amps when you are a little bit harder to push. So these. I'm also running the Gashelia Labs uh, Enog 2 Pro DAC for another reason is that this has selectable output voltage. And I don't have it on the maximum output voltage. I actually have it down a notch so that everything else is running on basically high gain to match everything out. And here we are. Now, uh, before we continue, 
let's just point out the power brick situation for everything because everything's being powered the only one that's not on the table is you are from you so the jds labs atom is being powered there because i ran out of plug space here the, those big size plugs are the shit and the atom this is for this topping which is an even bigger plug and then we've got the liquid spark which is this nice little you know standard plug we put away for a laptop and then believe it or not this little Shelly labs arco pro is powered by this little baby run right here so it's just this is what Zeus loves Zeus loves being paid to do this thank you for supporting me on patreon your your money paid to keep me up late and do this instead of working at taco bell or something I need my remote control so I can pause music. Okay, let's just make this real quick, all right? Best sounding amplifiers in this table, in no particular order. 789, Kishai Labs Arco Pro, JS Labs Atom. Model of Liquid Spark. Doesn't sound the same. I did these two, right? I did these two, and now I'm doing them again. And with enough time and enough headphones and the same source with the same DAC splits and everything's good, I can swap back and forth and these do sound just a tiny bit different. But here's the thing. I'm not going to sit here and pedantically argue. Is that a word? Pedantically. No, pedantic is a word. Um, that, well, this sounds different from this, therefore one of these must be bad. I don't do that. If you want to go by the numbers game, the Atom fucking wins in like every category. Even taking out some things about the Atom EL amp, which is like $280, $230, an amp twice its cost by the same company. Build quality. Uh, you want to do build quality roundup before we go back to assessing that? The Liquid Spark is the best built under $100 amp. Period. Stop. End of sentence. Followed by either the topping or the Gashali Labs, depending on what your tastes are. The topping is, is it's, it's metal and it's nice, but I don't, like, look at the finish. Like, it's just not the nicest finish. Like, the straight up just purple box that the Gashali gives you with the, with the Lexan front is actually better put together than this topping. I mean, it's got nice, like... Switches? What's on these switches? They need to be cleaned. Oh my god. And the knob is beautiful. The knob is the best on this. So we're gonna go by knob feel. The topping has the best knob, followed by the liquid spark. JDS Labs is a plastic box, and it'll always be the plastic box. And I would say, well, you gotta make the excuse that it's made in America, but so is the Gashelli Labs. And so is the Magni 3, which by the way was sent to me by a patron who's like, oh, you're gonna do that shootout? You want me to wanna borrow my Magni 3? I got an extra one. So thank you to him, so that I could finally have all the $100 amplifiers on my desk. I bought the topping, thanks to patrons for supporting me there. Gashelli sent me this, uh, patrons sent me this, JDS Labs sent me this, and I think I bought the Liquid Spark? I just, I don't know anymore. I'm pretty sure I just said fuck it and I bought that thing. So, sitting here, oh and I bought this, but we're not, this is... Here's the thing, though. This is three hundred and fifty dollars, and it's pretty much end game and balanced. So I'm gonna link to this in the description. And if you don't have to be limited to a hundred dollars for your desktop amp, just buy that. But this is an important segment because this is gonna be this was like baby's first headphone. Five years ago, you couldn't have dreamed of having this sort of variety with this sort of quality. The only one that stands out to me as like a eh is sort of the topping. Uh, in the review I did with between the good topping and the shell tapping, the this one's sort of, I don't know, it's got something that when I plug from this to this, same source, same everything, I just prefer the Gashali Labs on pretty much every headphone. And it's a nice, powerful fucking amp. It's got this big-ass power brick. It runs, right? But this one's got a little less power brick and still is a powerful-ass headphone amp. This was the gold standard. And it was only the gold standard hundred There's your there's your American made. American made. American made. Just pointing out. We got three American maids, two Chinas, and a another China. Um This was the gold standard. 
because it was the only thing that existed. If I, I need a hundred dollar headphone amp. Last year, hell, six months ago, it was Magni 3. My life was simple. You did this. Whatever was playing was playing. And it sounds pretty damn good. Like, you literally had no other choices. If you wanted just a straight amp, this is your choice. You wanted an amp DAC, there's the Origin G2. In fact, I haven't plugged into that in forever. Let's just, let's just... Still sounds good. Link to that in the description. This was your go-to. And then if you got this, you might as well get a Mahdi so you can get a little shit stack going. Everyone had a Mahdi Magna shit stack. Well, shit has... It's still good. Look, it's still good. It's still good. It's not great. If I do this... And then I do this... There's just some other layer, like, smeared on top. It's kind of like getting a butter roll, but then you get a butter roll with a little more butter, and it's like, oh, wait. And that's what, like, the Gashelli or the Atom do. They just bring it up just this little bit because, you know, shit's been doing this shit for a while. This is the third revision. Here's another thing. When the Magni 1 came out, there was no competition. Then the Magni 2 came out, and there was no competition. Then the Magni 2 Uber, and there was no competition. Then the Magni 3 here. And they finally got all the features of the Uber into the Magni 3 at the Magni 2's normal price of 100 bucks. Great. And now they got to step up their game again. Because now we've got the Atom, which has better numbers than most things on this planet. Minus that. you got the Gashelli, which is sort of like a weird dog, but holy fuck, does it sound good. You've got the Liquid Spark, and Mono Price is nothing to scoff at. They'll come in and destroy anybody, usually by stealing things or by hiring uh, Alex Cavelli to come design their shit for them and packaging it in, like, the most beautiful box you've ever fucking looked at. By the way, a uh, little side note. This gets a little warm, a little warm. I can feel some warmth in there and just, like, a little bit warm. This is, like, room temperature. This is just above room temperature. That could keep your fucking, like, sandwich warm. This is the only one that gets hot. The Liquid Spark is the only headphone amplifier on this table, including that one, that actually produces what I would call heat. On a cold day, you want a Liquid Spark, and you just want to hold it in your hands like this and listen to music. So, pretty much cool. Even though he's got vent holes, it doesn't feel like it needs it. Cool. Cool. This is a DAC. Cool. So... Uh, winner of the 2018 Hottest Amp Award goes to Liquid Spark. <sighs> Worst build. I was doing build quality, right? Worst build. It's a plastic box. The, the, the knob feels like plastic. It's got the little dimples when they broke it off. Could be improved, absolutely. Uh, I would recommend JDS Labs spend the time at least machine a metal volume knob. Or just find one that's just a little bit less... I don't know. It's got like... like you can just see the dimples and stuff. It doesn't make the amp sound any worse. It would just be like if they made like a pro version, the Atom Pro, and just made the whole box out of metal and cost $40 more. I'm sure they would sell that. Because with the specs this thing has, you kind of want to see it made out of metal. The shit build is shit. It just always is. It's got sharp corners, and it looks okay, and the knob is always off-center, and the plastic ring sticks out, and it's just... It just is. It, it, it was the benchmark to beat. And JDS Labs came up short. Model fucking knocked it out of the park. Gashelli has their own thing going on here with the metal cases. And you can get it in complete Lexan if you want. Black or purple or Lexan. It's purple, by the way, because I requested it since I do all their beta testing. I'm basically the, um, like the Lamborghini test driver, but for Gashelli Labs. So I, I had a little bit of input on this. The topping should be nice. It should be nicer than the shit, and the topping, the fascia is nicer than the shit, but this, this, this is better than this. This is just cheap. Like, you could just see the grain and all the stuff, like, there's, like, dirt stuck in it. I don't like touching it. It feels bad to touch. Like, the grain is too, too much, and then this thing is, is perfect. I'm not even reviewing that. What were we talking about? Music? And how these things sound? Assuming that there's no losers in this table, even the A30 will find a home and someone will listen to it and it'll be better than what you would have gotten for five five years ago for a hundred bucks. 
which is why I don't want to piss on it too much. It's got three and a half millimeters, it's got a quarter inch, it's got three-way gain switch. It's got this high-low gain on the front for some sort of power supply, so I'm figured out. It's got a beautiful volume knob, blue LED. I should just throw it off the table if it's a blue LED. Nothing else has blue, by the way. Well, unless you count um, this, where you could actually set it to have internals that are just blue. Blue or off, or red and blue, which makes purple. Purple's my favorite color. I think what, we're try what I'm trying to say with this whole, this whole wrap-up video, it just sounds flatter, and not flatter in like a better way. Like flatter and just like a uh, like a uh, like a uh way. And then I just gotta go back to this. Holy fuck! Okay, don't come, Zeus. Don't come on camera. Yeah, no. As much I said it in the other video of these that. The difference between this A30 and this Cachelli Labs is like the difference between all of these amps and the 789. That's how much better the 789 is. It's a huge step. Like even single-ended, I am powering it balanced, but even going through the single-ended output. Oh, pasta, you should be here to, to prove that that, oh, headphone amps don't make a difference. The liquid spark. A lot of people are shitting on the Liquid Spark because its numbers aren't as good as the JDS Labs Atom. And in certain scenarios, I'm like, that's fine. It's fine. You know, a DAC, a DAC, you give me a DAC and it's got terrible signal to noise or the voltage is wonky or, or there's got channel imbalance or it's got a real bad, you know, way it, it deals with fucking impedance. But then you could shit on a DAC. And then you look at the DAC's features and if it balances out, yeah, you still don't want a shitty DAC. I still love... See, I went to say like, and it turned into love. I still love the way the fucking Liquid Spark sounds. I know the JDS Labs. La oh my god, I know the JDS Labs Atom is better than the Liquid Spark based on numbers alone. This has a little more power, but this thing is so much cleaner. But sitting here with Aeolus on and literally just unpausing music and listening to Handsome Family, Emily Shore, and there's. I wouldn't kick that out of bed. Not in a heartbeat. Not at all. And if you're looking for build quality, that's your boy. The topping, again, will power headphones fine. It's fine, it's fine. The problem is it's just fine. Yard sale for you. The Magni. It's like a, a notch above this. It's not as flat, but it's still mostly just like, it's the old standard. It sounds good. It's good enough. Like I, but the problem comes when I do this. Oh, okay. It's like, oh, okay. These are real close. This is great news. I mean, look. No one should be watching this video and then never buy this or this or that. Even this. I mean, this could be sort of be like a. Okay, stop music, please. Just need to think for a second. Because I'm trying to be nice. Seals tries to be nice. News at 11. I don't want to shit on anything on this desk because everything here is a miracle that it exists at the same time in the same place. This being the absolute ultimate in. I don't know how it does it. All right, this being the ultimate thing that I want to listen to, I want to listen to this last, and then this second to last, and then this. It's a numbers thing, and I respect the numbers of the JDS Labs over that, but still, if you want the mono price, goddamn Liquid Spark, I will not be upset. It's, so no one should look at you, oh, you got that instead of the, Adam, you're a piece of shit, you didn't even read the numbers. No, it sounds fucking fucking fantastic. It's a hundred dollar amp that's built better than everything else on the table. I have no qualms about you buying this. It is a little warm, but that could be a benefit if you live in the north. 
somewhere up in the north and it's cold you just need a warm headphone amp what surprises me the most is the Gashelli Labs because it's only a hundred bucks and although it has some quirks like there's no gain control on it these all have gain control high low gain high low gain high low gain in the back high low gain in the front three-way this has no gain control and because it has no gain control Gashelli designed it so that the DAC has the gain control And I explained in the review of this why that is, because instead of having this limit what it's getting and try to squish it, it just says, all right, we'll just tell the DAC to not output as much. And that's fine when you have this DAC. You've got some other DAC. I've got, I'm just pointing at literally DACs. DAC, 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 DAC. Then you have a little bit of harder time. But when you can get this pair to work, it's fucking magical. And it's cheap. I mean, looking at like, this is going to be, this is on sale now for like 180 and this is 100 That's still nearly $300. You know what nearly $300 is? That, but then you still need a DAC. And then you're into buying this DAC anyway, so I mean, what's the point? Oh, God. This is such a video. This is such a video. It's such a Zeos video. You just tell Zeos wants to go take a nap. Okay, okay. You're done. I want to thank the person who loaned me the Magni. Reminded me of what, because it's very, very hard to not be able to do this. And, and like, how did the Magni 3 sound? How did the Magni 1 sound, Zeos? You know, the one that you heard two and a half, three years ago? Oh, yeah, let me recall my memory. Hold on. And that's all you get. These fart noises come out of your head. So this is an amazing feat that this has all happened. I'm more amazed by the feat that's happening than this actual, like, the point of this video. I I endorse the purchase of pretty much everything on this table, possibly minus the A30, which sucks. This is the only one on Amazon. Actually, I think you might be on Amazon. But, um... Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's all I got. That's all I fucking got. If I had to, you're going to make me do it. And I don't like you people. See, you 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 know who you fuck you are. You're the one that's watching this video going, Zeos, just tell me which one's the best. And I'll buy that one. Zeos, it's the best. I just want to buy the best. Snowflakes, ladies and gentlemen, snowflakes. Now, I, snowflakes are headphones. You know, that one's an open back planar and that one's a closed back dynamic. So, of course, there's going to be different things. And I could argue that fact all day and you need probably both. I won't argue that anyone needs this many fucking amplifiers. You just need a couple good ones. Usually a tube, then usually a balanced, and then usually a balanced and or solid state. So this pretty much covers if you need balanced and or solid state for $350, you're done. But if you have the budget, you don't have the budget for that, I'd get the Gashelli, the Atom with the liquid sparks. Uh, I think the Magni had its day in the sun, and while it's not terrible, it, it still ranks the two least likely to, for me to plug. I've been sitting here since last night and I woke up this morning and I'm like, let me see what this headphone sounds like. And the very first amp I would try it on is that, followed by either the Atom or the Gashelli Labs. And that's, that's the best way to indicate which ones I want. Because I just never felt like plugging it into the Magni. The Magni's like, <laughs> that's way louder, but I mean, now, there's something more in this one, and there's something more in this one. Even if it's just a little bit more than this one, this one still sounds good. Even if it's not as level and flat and fucking... Yeah. I can't keep this review going. It's just gonna be... It's just gonna be me going, uh, uh, uh. What Zeus doesn't know what he's fucking talking about for 27 more minutes. Links to all of these in the description. All of them. Even the A30. Links to that DAC, links to this thing, link to Aeolus. I might link to these switch split boxes. I don't know. Link to her because she's super embarrassed by what's going on. So am I. Look at this mess. I got to clean this up now, right? Zeos, so you have the best job in the world. Okay. Come clean up my fucking mess for me. Link to that in the description. Link to all these in the description. Link to my Patreon in the description. The patrons... Mm, probably get this video first. I may just release this, release this one publicly after everything's said and done. I'll see how I'm doing. 
uh, the $5 Patreon tier gets into the yard sale. And that's important for this particular video because whereas I'm not getting rid of either the uh, Gashali Labs things, I'm definitely selling this in the yard sale and possibly one of these. My brother needs a new headphone amp and he's like, you have a headphone amp? And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Um, so either he'll get the Atom or the Monolith. He probably would, I don't know. I don't know. One of those two might go to him or I'll give him my S7 and just tell him to hold it or I'll sell my S7. In other words, yard sales for all this stuff. $10 tier gets you into a private Telegram chat with uh, I don't know, 90 people in it now and they all get to message me directly and they share stories about audio file crap and how much money they've wasted on shit because I've forced them to. And that's basically it. And we're done here. And I'm sorry that you had to witness this. This is not something I want anyone to see. But uh, it's just what happens when you do my gerb. I'm going to go back. And listen to some more music. You guys enjoy. Download things, click things, have fun. I'm out.